Hello. Hi. My name is Jonathan. I'm going to be your host today. Can you go ahead, uh, let me see your wristband, please, and tell me your name and date of birth. Um, Danielle Edries, November 20, 1994. All right. I'm going to do a couple assessments on different parts of your body. But to start with, I'll have you put this down on for me. Sure. I'm going to start off with your head, just examining it. Make sure everything is pretty even. No abnormal hair growths or anything like that. And, um, it looks pretty even. No abnormal hair growth pattern. So now I'm going to go in and palpate on your scalp. Same thing, looking for anything abnormal. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and test, test the facial sensation. This is going to test your um, trigeminal nerve. So I'm going to do a little sensation test. This will be sharp and that will be dull. Okay. And I'll have you close your eyes and I'll just do this in a couple different locations. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. 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 Good. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and feel by your jaw. Go ahead and squeeze for me and open and close side to side, please. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and feel your uh, sinuses up on your forehead. Let me know if there's any tenderness in there or anything. It feels good. Now down by your nose. Any tenderness at all in there? Mm -mm. All right, I'm just gonna make sure your face is pretty symmetrical, which it is. So I'll just have you uh, raise your eyebrows for me and shut them tight and puff up your cheeks. Awesome, that's gonna test your facial nerve. All right, now I'm gonna move down into your neck. I'm gonna bring your gown down just a little bit. I'm looking for your trachea, making sure it's midline, not deviated. Which it is. I mean, it's not deviated. It's pretty midline. Okay, good. Yes. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, just inspect, make sure you don't have any jugular venous distension, which you don't. So I'm good. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, inspect or feel for your lymph nodes, starting with the preauricular, postauricular, occipital, submental submandibular, tonsillar, superficial cervical, deep cervical, posterior cervical, and supraclavicular. Any tenderness at all? No. Good, good. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and feel for your carotid pulses. I'm just going to check one at a time. Good. Other side. Good. I'm just feeling for evenness, even pulsations, which is definitely what I found pretty normal. Now I'm going to go ahead and inspect, or, or I'm going to listen to your carotid pulse. As I do this, I'd like you to go ahead and hold your breath for me. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and take a breath and hold. Good. And same with the other side. Good. So one thing I'd be looking for is bruises, which I did not find. Otherwise, there's no other cause for concern. Next, I'm going to be um, feeling for your thyroid gland. So if you could go ahead and tilt your chin up for me. I'm just feeling for the size and its position which seems to be um, pretty normal. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and check for your skin turgor. Right at your clavicle, I'm just going to pull up some skin and check it how it rebounds. It rebounds pretty fast, which is very good. Um, now I'm going to perform a test that's going to test your accessory nerve. Um, and I'm going to place my hand on each side of your face, one side at a time. And I'll have you turn into the hand on whichever side it is as I apply some resistance.
Go ahead and turn. Good. Turn. Good. Now, the same thing with your shoulders. I'll have you shrug. Good. All right, that's pretty normal. Now, I'm going to move into your eyes. I'm just going to inspect the outer structures, the eyelid, the uh, lacrimal gland, and the pupil. Make sure there isn't any abnormal discharge or any abnormal discolorations. But your eyes seem pretty clear. Um, so, I'm going to move right into the uh, test for your optic nerve. And I'm going to have you uh, cover your right eye. And I'm going to bring my hand up here. And as I move in, I'm going to have you tell me when my fingers come in the picture. Now. Good. Now. Now. Good. Other side. Now. Now. Good. <laughs> Good. All right. Now I'm going to test your. Uh, your trochlear and your abducens nerve. And this is going to be the six cardinal fields of view. So I'll just have you follow my finger with your eyes in a couple of different directions. Good. Very responsive. Now I'm going to test your corneal light reflex, making sure that the light bounces off your eyes evenly. Just go ahead and look straight ahead. Good. Now I'm going to test the corneal reflex. This is going to be a test for your trigeminal and facial nerve. Can you open your eyes wide for me? Good. Other side. Good. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, inspect your pupils. So you can go ahead and look straight forward. Good. What I'm looking for here is to make sure that the pupils are they're equal, they're round, and reactive to light, which they are. So everything's good for, with that. Now I'm going to check for accommodation. and. Uh, the one I just did before and this one are also going to be a test for your ocular motor nerve. So I'll now have you follow the pen with your eyes as it gets closer and further away. Good. Now I'm just going to check for your red light reflex. This is going to be for the optic nerve. Let me adjust the settings here. Go ahead and look straight ahead for me. Good. Good. Now I'm going to go ahead and look inside the fundus, perform a little fundus exam. Right, on the other side. So pretty much what I was looking there was for blood vessels, um, the color of the retina, the macula, and the optic disc. All right, now I'm going to move into your ears. I'm just going to go ahead and inspect, making sure they're both symmetrical, pretty lined. Now I'm going to feel for your, on your auricles. Let me know if there's any tenderness in that area. Okay, everything feels fine. All right, now I'm going to perform three tests, and they're going to test your ocular, I mean, the vestibular cochlear nerve. I'm going to start with the whisper test. I'm going to have you place one finger in one ear while wiggling it around, and I'm going to go behind you and whisper a couple words, and I'll just have you uh, repeat what I said. So go ahead and put one finger in an ear. Snow. Snow. Other side. Rain. Rain. Good. Next, next I'm going to perform the uh, Weber test. I'm going to ring this instrument here, place it on top of your head, and then I'll just have you tell me whether you hear it equally on both sides or more on one side than the other. Okay. I hear it pretty equally on both sides. Good, good. That's a very normal finding. 
Next, I'm going to test or do the uh, rind test. I'm going to ring it again. I'm going to place it behind your ear, and you'll tell me when you stop feeling the vibration or hearing it. Then I'll place it in front of your ear, and then after that, you'll tell me when you stop hearing it. Other side. No. No. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and inspect inside of your ear. I'm just going to go ahead and lift up one side. Tell me if there's any discomfort at all as I look in. Any discomfort at all? No. All right, I'll check the other side. All right. definitely saw the perfect day, which is what you want to see. Oh, good. Yes, now I'm going to go ahead and go into the um, nose. Let me um, just inspect the outer portion, um, inspecting for alignness, alignment, uh, evenness. Um, all right, now I'm going to ask you to cover one nostril and breathe. And the other side. All right, now I'm going to grab a scent, and I'm going to have you cover one nostril and close your eyes, and I'll have you breathe in, and this will test your uh, olfactory nerve. So go ahead and cover a nostril, close your eyes, and then smell. Coffee. Good. And the other side. Coffee. Good. Now I'm going to go ahead and inspect the inside of your nose. Go ahead and look up for me. Good. On the other side. Yeah. Pretty normal color. So pretty much what I was just looking for was any uh, any lesions, any abnormal color, anything like that. Um, so now I'll just uh, head into uh, examining your mouth. I'm going to start with the outside and make sure the lips are, aren't cracked or anything like that. And I'll have you open your mouth for me and I'll examine the inside. Mm -hmm. Looking at the mucosa, the teeth, the gums. All right. Now I'll have you take a sip of water for me. All right. Any difficulty at all swallowing? No. All right, and that'll test the uh, the glossopharyngeal and the vagus nerve. Now I'm going to ask you to stick out your tongue and then move it side to side. Good. And that'll test your hypoglossal. Next I'm going to test or inspect your uvula and your soft palate. So, I'll have you stick your tongue out for me and you uh, open and say ah. Uh, Good. And that'll test 
the uh, uh, glossopharyngeal and vagus nerve as well. Next, I'm going to test your um, gag reflex. Go ahead and open your mouth for me. There it is. All right. And that'll also test the uh, glossopharyngeal and vagus. Next, I'm going to um, have you taste. Um, so I'll go ahead and have you uh, close your eyes and then stick out your tongue. And then I'm going to place a uh, taste on each uh, part of your mouth. Okay. And this is going to test your um, facial, your glossopharyngeal, and your vagus nerves. So as I grab a taste, I'd like you to go ahead and close your eyes and stick your tongue out for me. Uh. Sour. Good. Now I'll have you do it again. Sour. Good. Mm -hmm. We'll do one more. Go ahead and stick your tongue out for me. Salty. One more. Salty. Good. All right, well, that is all I have for you for today. Thank you for allowing me to do this assessment Thank on you. you.